Despite its misleading name, ringworm has nothing to do with worms. It's a cunning fungus, a master of disguise that tricks our bodies into an itchy standoff. This common skin infection, known scientifically as tinea, or dermatophytosis, can affect anyone, anywhere. It's a reminder that the microscopic world holds both wonders and potential threats. But don't worry, knowledge is power. Let's unravel the secrets of this fungal foe. Imagine a microscopic spore landing on your skin. It's a dermatophyte, a type of fungus that thrives on keratin, the tough protein found in our skin, hair, and nails. It's a silent invasion, often unnoticed until the telltale signs appear, itchy red patches that grow outwards, forming the classic ring-shaped rash. But ringworm isn't just limited to the skin, it can also affect the scalp, causing hair loss, or the nails, leading to thickening and discoloration. Dermatophytes are a group of fungi with a particular appetite for keratin. They're the ultimate party crashers, setting up camp in our skin, hair and nails, causing inflammation and irritation. These microscopic invaders are highly contagious, spreading through direct contact with infected individuals, animals or even contaminated objects. Think gym floors, shower stalls, and even that seemingly innocent hairbrush. The three main culprits behind this itchy nuisance are the genera Trichophyton, Microsporum, and Epidermophyton. Each genus has its preferred hangout spot on the body and unique microscopic features that help us identify them. Trichophyton, the most common troublemaker, loves the scalp, skin, and nails. Microsporum prefers the scalp and skin, while Epidermophyton sticks to the skin and nails. Knowing their preferred locations can give us valuable clues when trying to pinpoint the cause of the infection. It's also important to keep in mind that many of these organisms have been reclassified under the genera Arthroderma, Nanidzia, Lophophyton, and Paraphyton. Identifying the specific type of dermatophyte causing the infection is crucial for effective treatment. While cultures are often used, the gold standard for identification lies in the fascinating world of microscopic morphology. By examining the fungal structures under a microscope, we can distinguish between the different genera and even pinpoint the species. Trichophyton, for example, is characterized by its smooth, thin-walled macroconidia, or large spores, and abundant microconidia, which are small spores. Microsporum, on the other hand, boasts large, spindle-shaped macroconidia with thick, rough walls. Finally, Epidermophyton stands out with its club-shaped macroconidia, occurring in clusters, and the absence of microconidia. These microscopic differences may seem subtle, but they are vital for accurate identification and targeted treatment. Section 4. Morphology Matters – The Key to Accurate Identification While culture characteristics can provide some clues, they can be variable and easily influenced by growth conditions, potentially leading to misidentification. Microscopic morphology, however, offers a more reliable and consistent method for identification. It's like recognizing someone by their face rather than their clothes. Furthermore, microscopic examination allows us to observe the fungus in its parasitic phase revealing the structures involved in infection. Older test methods such as the hair perforation test have now been replaced by fancier confirmatory methods such as DNA sequencing and MALDI. This information can be crucial for understanding the pathogenesis of the infection and developing effective treatment strategies. Section 5. Beyond the Microscope Clinical Clues for Diagnosis While microscopic examination remains the cornerstone of identification, clinical information provides valuable context and can be particularly helpful in cases involving rare or atypical species. The location of the lesion, for example, can provide initial clues. A ringworm infection on the scalp is more likely to be caused by microsporum or trichophyton, while an infection between the toes points towards Trichophyton rubrum, a common culprit in athlete's foot. Travel history and animal contact are also important pieces of the puzzle. Some dermatophyte species are geographically restricted so knowing where a person has traveled can narrow down the possibilities. Similarly, contact with animals, especially cats and dogs, raises suspicion for certain species like Microsporum canis. Onychomycosis, a fungal infection of the nails, adds another layer of complexity. This stubborn infection, primarily caused by Trichophyton rubrum and Trichophyton mentagraphytes, can cause nails to become thick, discolored, and brittle. Identifying the causative agent is essential for choosing the appropriate antifungal medication and determining the duration of treatment. 
Understanding the interplay between microscopic morphology and clinical information is paramount for accurate diagnosis and effective management of ringworm infections. By piecing together the clues from both the microscopic and macroscopic worlds, we can unravel the mysteries of these fascinating fungi and keep their itchy antics at bay.